Okay, I'm doing another cover today and I'm doing it with a tissue, some tissue, um, napkin, sorry, because I love, I was looking for something and I found this napkin, which I absolutely love. And I thought it'd be nice to turn it into a journal cover because um, I've only got one and I just think it will be lovely. So I'll do the same as what I've done before. I'll post the, that video down below. Um, what is it? I've made this into about 11 and three quarters across by 10 on the height. So, you know, that's far bigger than I need. But I always like it a little bit bigger so I can cut it down. Okay. And I'm going to wet this. The, again, the glue I use is two to one. It's like the consistency, okay, of single cream. All right. Now, that's what I like. You might prefer different. Okay. Uh, you might have thin glue, so put less water in. I always say usually two to one, but sometimes that's not always the case if you've got a really thin PVA glue, all right? And it does peel off of this. I'll, um, people are asking on the previous video, did it come off all right? I actually took it off halfway through because I thought it would take less time to dry because I put it on the heater. Right, fabric first wherever I buy it <laughs> and then we soak it again through okay and then we put the napkin on but I will leave this one on to leave it to dry on the plastic and then I'll show you how it peels off this is quite a thick plastic so but only plastic will normally works because I've, I've actually done this with just napkins before and no fabric so right I'm gonna put a bit on there you do need this saturated so but with tissue um, or napkin you haven't got sort of any time to to move it around not like you have with tissue paper it, so. cat hair there tommy gets everywhere <laughs> it's, it's okay Make sure the edges are done nicely too. I just thought you'd like to see the outcome of this one. So. Okay, I'm just sorting out where I think I would like. I think we're all right anyway. Wherever it goes. <laughs> Slightly bigger, so... Okay, I'm going to do is very gently just push out from the middle. Okay, I can still see the fabric there, so there we go. What a beautiful napkin! <laughs> All right, and then we glue the top. But again, very gently, okay, and not too much because you don't want to go through the napkin really if you can help it. You can usually put, patch up if you've got a spare napkin, but I haven't. <laughs> so I am going to work, oh, like gently, okay, which I didn't there. Let's have a look, Let's see if I can. That will be at the back, so I'll be right. I might be able to patch in with that in a bit from here. Okay, that just shows you what happens. It's a lot more fragile. So, gently does it. I don't mind the wrinkles. Like I say, I will sand those down because that's the way I like it to look, so. Okay. 
Actually, that don't look too bad, that tear, because it looks like it's a part of the rose. Gosh, I got away with that. There we go. And I'm just going to leave that now, and you'll see that. I expect in a couple of days. <laughs> and I'll show you, the, I'll show you the way it peels off as well. So if I hopefully I'll remember and not forget and go, oh, I need to peel that off. And Okay, I think that's words. All right, here it is, nice and dry. Okay, and it's still on the plastic. I've left it on there. And what I am going to do before... I take it off, peel it off the plastic, is I'm going to sand it down a bit, okay, so, because I like mine to feel quite smooth, even though I might have a few ridges, I'm just going to make sure this is really dry when you do this, it's just a nail file, <laughs> you can do it with sandpaper, as long as you get um, like a fine grade, like Zero, 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 something like that. to show you it does come off eventually <laughs> here we go I'll just go around and ease the edges there we go Right, and then you trim around. Some of it just, you know, tear off. It. I usually straighten it. I usually shorten it anyway, if you know what I mean. So, or take some height off. I always make it slightly bigger so I can trim down. Wasn't sure whether I was doing a wrap around on that one or not. I actually quite like that there. Oops, look. Okay. Right. Because it's quite an even pattern, I'm going to take a bit off of the top and a bit off of the bottom. For this one, yeah. And I need about an inch, and, and then I'll straighten up um, these edges, but I won't totally take them off until I know what's going in here and how much room I need, right? Because this, this was, you know, I need at least an inch here. All right, for even for a wrap, not a wrap around, but just a cover, you know, because of the pages going in. So if I say my my um, pages are five, okay, I need like five and a half, okay, which that makes eleven across, all right, and that will give me an inch here. So let's have a look, how many is there? Yep, so I've got 
quarter of an inch to take off each side. Yeah, because that's 11 and a half and I want 11. All right, and then that will give me enough room. And then up from the top as well, I will need to take off. I'll go to nine, I think. Okay. Usually go well, actually eight and three quarters because my pages are eight and a quarter. So I'll go to eight and three quarters for mine. Yeah, right, I'll go and cut that and then I'll show you. Uh, I'm not finishing this. I'm just showing you. It's the same technique as the other one that I've done. All right, once we get to this stage, I was just doing it with tissue paper and then showing you how, you know, it does peel off the, the elastic, all right? So, because I'm not ready for this one yet. And I have no idea what's going in there and I might be sewing something to the cover. So until I do that, then I'll leave this video as is, yeah? we go it's cut two sides okay and what i was thinking even if you did want to do another you know skinnier journal with a bit of a wrap around because you haven't got you know much left here right you can always extend this bit with lace or something like that okay don't think because you, you you've got to remember that you have to have a bit here as well as there all right once you've got your pages in this shortens <laughs> all right it might look enough now but when you've got your pages in it's going to come to you know about there all right but you can always always put lace and extend it see so you could put that right to the edge and extend that for your closure Okay, and you can always put, still put your button on here, yeah, but that will give you a bit. And even if you've got bigger, you know, bigger piece of lace, then that will work as well. I've got, oh, I've got some here. It's, it's a little bit wider, I think. Oh, no, it's about the same. It's about the same size. But... It's got that nice cream colour there. It's too stained. So that as well. Naturally, that that will look nice and with that stitched on and nice closure on there because the closure will go around the journal and this part here, so it will sort of break that design up that's quite, you know, um, geometric, isn't it? You know, which if you thought, you know, that there, that would break that up. I think, yeah, I'm not saying put that on, but I'm just saying once you put the tie on, I hope you can see what I mean. <laughs> but yeah so anyway that's another one okay and so we'll be finishing that at some date so i'll do a follow-on video not yet because i'm in the middle of a couple of other things at the moment so all right okay then thank you very much for watching speak to you soon bye <laughs>